Peace be with you. Hello, I'm Deacon Nelson. Welcome to I God Today. Our gospel story is from the Sower of the Seeds, found in Matthew chapter 13, verses 1 through 9. I'm sure we've all heard about the sower who throws out the seeds to be planted. Some seeds fall on the good soil, others on rocky, among the thorns, and others on the walking path. Do we all listen and understand the results? Do we think that the faith is the seed that falls on good soil? Or do we see our faith at times is weak, thus rocky soil, and it slowly dies? Do we see faith that is shallow, thus reflecting in a personal action is bad on the path of life? Do we see that at times the world like thorn is trying to choke out one's faith? I know we can all recognize the good soil which produces much fruit. I think at first glance, we all want to believe we are the ones in good soil. So that begs the question, is your church growing by leaps and bounds while serving the poor, the homeless, and the needy? The key phrase to remember is produce fruit, a hundred or sixty or thirty fold. True fruit is not only a growing church, but a church that expresses the will of the Father. The will of the Father is to do the work of Jesus, to feed the poor, help the foreigner, clothe the naked, take care of the elderly, and protect our children. When each of us examines our soil, perhaps we need to realize that it might not be as rich as we thought. Perhaps we need to study more, act more, and pray more, to cultivate our faith in a deep and more profound way. As we embark on the endeavors, we will notice that people will see what we do and want to follow you and imitate what you are, doing just as they did for the first Christians. We are called to be holy in a rich understanding of Christ. Let us pray. Lord God, allow your reign of grace to fall upon me, thus filling us with the nurturing of your love and peace. Help us to continue to grow in your likeness. Amen. <music>